Congratulations, your son is number one. And told me, congratulations, mtoto wako ni number moja. Sasa mpaka headmistress ya nasema nataka kuona mzazi wa yule mtoto number one. Until the headmistress demanded to see the parent of that child who was number one, and I showed up, it was me. Tukajuana. And we got to know each other. Wanawake wa Somali, mana kuna wa Somali wengi hapo wa mepeleka wa toto hiyo shule. There are many women of Somali. Wanani kamata mbua, wananiambia, tunanjua mototo wako di yalikuwa mujinga. Umana mototo wangu yalikuwa na kujanga na 29. 29 out of 32. And they got a hold of me and told me we know your child was the dunderhead of the class. He was number two. Walikuwa wananiambia hautatoka hapa mpaka utuambie ulifanya nini. And they told me we are not going to let you go. Tuambie ulifanya nini maana watoto wetu ni wajinga. Until you tell us what you did and you have to tell us because our children are not getting anything. So nikaambia kanisa. And so I therefore told them the church. Tanta fanyaje. What should I do? Ulisa jirani. Ask your neighbor. Unaweza kuwa umefika verse 8 na sasa Mungu anakuambia uingie verse 9 bila kupingwa. Is it possible that you had gotten to verse 8 and God is telling you to get to verse 9 without any further discussion? Haya, Mungu akitaja ngombe, unasikia ukiogopa juu ya ile gari yako ulikuja naye pale? If God talks about a cow, are you afraid because of the car that you came with outside there? Mungu akisema ngombe, unaogopa asiseme account ifunge ulete. When God talks about a cow, are you afraid that he might tell you to close your account and bring everything? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Unajua tuliambia Mungu tukiwa kwetu nyumbani. You know we told God when we were in our home. Baba, somea kanisa. Utupatie horo ya kusomea kanisa baba. Father give us that heart of horo horo ya kusomea kanisa kama. Or give us a hall to to be holding our services. Alafu mimi nimeomba usiku masaa matatu. So I had prayed in the night for three hours. Kusema amen ninasikia sauti ya Bwana. When I said amen God I had the voice of God. Enda kwa account ya bank utoe pesa yako yote, upeleke kanisani na nitakupatia nyumba. Go to your bank account and remove everything and bring to church and I'll give you a home. Haikuwa na pesa nyingi, ilikuwa na 1000 lakini ile ni yomisa. It did not have so much. It only had 10000 but it really pained me. Nikaenda kwa bank. I went to the bank. Nikaambia hiyo msichana anataka kutoa pesa yote. And I told the lady I want to get out everything. Akanipeleka kwa counseling room. And she told me she took me to a counseling room. Nikaenda kupewa counseling. I went there and I was given counsel. Mtu hatoangi pesa yote kwa bank. Somebody never will know the pressure. Tunajua pengine pressure lakini hiyo pressure it can wait. We know you may be pressurized but this one in Hata yule alikuwa ananipa counseling nikamwambia wewe unajua meme ni mtumishi wa Mungu. And the one that was counseling me asked the person, do you know I'm a servant of God? mtumishi wa Mungu, kwanza niombe. And he told me first of all pray for me servant of God. Akaniambia haya na kwa nini unatoa pesa? And he asked me. Kamwambia hiyo ndio tuna deal na Mungu. Amesema yote itolewe. Alinipa hapo hapo. That is how we deal with God. He told me to bring everything and I was given everything on the spot. Unajua kuna watu kanisani hawafungagi macho ukisema tuombe. You know there are certain people in church that no, no, they are not hivi na si security. When you say we pray you they are looking around and they are not the security. Kuna mzee alikuwa anakaa pale nyuma nikisema watu wafunge macho afuki. There was a certain man who used to sit at the back whenever I say close your eyes he never closed his Sunday hiyo wakati nilienda kanisani That Sunday when I went to church Hiyo mzee That man akatumana akasema nataka kunisalimia He sent somebody to tell me that he wanted to greet me Sasa sema mzee abaya afugagi macho hata nikisema watu wafunge And in my thinking I was thinking that this guy that never closes his eyes whenever I say people should close their eyes Ananisalimia kitu gani Why should he greet me Kal samrini atu hivi So I just greeted him. Akaniambia nipe dakika yako moja. And he told me give me a minute of your time. Kaniambia tangu nikuja hapa kusikiliza mahubiri yako. And he told me since I came here to listen to your teachings. Maisha yangu imebadilika. My life has been transformed. Na leo nimesikia kumetangazo ya kwamba hii nyumba tunasomea mwisho ni leo. And I heard the announcement that this is the last day we are going to hold our service. sasa. And he told me now. Mambo ya tutasomea wapi? Wherever we'll be holding our services. Utahubiria wapi Jumapili? Where you are going to preach from on Sunday? Hiyo nimeshukua sasa. I have taken that as my responsibility. Ah, nikamsalimia tena vizuri hapo Bwana siwe ndugu yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Na ndio mimi nikiona uko kanisani na hufugi macho. Sijali, kazi yako itatokea. Bye and bye. Ulete bus. <laughs> that is why when you are in church and you are not closing your eyes, I'm not I'm not moved. Because when your time comes to act, you will do something. You may even bring a bus. Ibrahim alitishwa nini? What was Adam Abraham? Asking? Ibrahim akatoka verse 8 to enjoy the voice of God. God has spoken to me. In fact, there is a revelation about me. Alifika mahali sasa when? 
He got from that point of talking to God, I've gotten the revelation of God, and he got to the point that God is now giving a direction. Nataka kujua. I want to know. When? Lini. Mungu akamwambia unataka kujua mtoto ni lini? You want to know when the child is coming? Yes. Akamwambia unipatie dama wa miaka mitatu. And he told him bring me a heifer of three years old. Ngombe wa miaka mitatu ni ngombe mkubwa. A three year old cow is big. Ni kama ngali ya miaka mitatu. It's like a, a car that is three years old. Ni vigumu sana kuipata hapa Nairobi. It is difficult to find such a car here in Nairobi. Nyingi ni za miaka 10, miaka 15, miaka 5. Miaka mitatu ni ngali mpya kabisa. 10 years, 5 years, a three year old car is very new. Akaambiwa na utatoa kitu kingine. And you Si unataka kujua ni nini? You will give something else. You want to know when? Onipatie busimuke. Give me a female goat. Wa miaka mitatu. 3 years old. Hiyo sasa ndio lugha ile wa shirika wengi ya wapendi. And that is the language that many Wanapenda I see a, I see a house. Wanapenda ile naona nyumba. Na naona iko karibu na mto. And I see it next to a river. Nani yako? And it is you. Meona imeandikwa hapo wewe. It has been written there your name. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, yes. Ni vizuri kusema thank you, Jesus. Ni vizuri kusema thank you. Lakini hiyo nyumba haiku ni But you were never told when this house is going to come. Ukisema ni lini? When you ask when. Utajua mungu ya nataka ngombe. You will know God wants a cow. Hallelujah. Amen. Kama weni musichana umiambiwa ya kwamba utaolewa. If you are a lady and you've been told you're going to get married. Na hakuna specified time. Nakuna, there is no muda ulio uh, malum. Utalete ngombe. You will have to bring a cow. Utalete busi. You will have to bring a goat. Leni mungu baada ya kuletewa hizi vitu. Ba, baada ya mungu, after God was brought these things. Aka specify. Mpaka muisho. Aka sema 450 years akapea Ibrahim clearly vile kutaendelea duniani. After this, God gave him a very clear picture of what would happen even after 430 years. Haka muambia lete kodo mume wa miaka mitatu. A ram three years old. Ulete hua. Na muanajiwa. A turtle dove and a young pigeon. Sasa hapa dipo kiroho inashikana na kimuiri. This is where the flesh, uh, the physical... Mutumishi mugeni ya kikuja hapa kuambie The Lord is saying When a visiting minister comes here and tells you Mungu anasema Na asiseme ni time gani Without telling you the exact time Umefanyua ujube nusu You've been given half service Lazima uende ukashunguse na kutafuta Nenene Mungu anataka Akupatia nusu hiyo ingine akuambia nirene you need to go and do your homework and find out what exactly what god wants so that he can give you the other remaining half amen amen kuna mtu aliniambia ameombea mke wake ameombewa na wahubiri wote international wanawapeleka kwa kina bonke kina ben hin ashike mimba na hashiki somebody told me that his wife had, has been prayed for by all the international preachers like Benny Hinn, Bonke, so that she can get, she can conceive, but she's not able to conceive. And I asked him a question. What did they say when they prayed for him? They told me God has answered. <laughs> and I told her, you've given something half. Go and ask God. What should I give in your altar so that this word can fulfill can be fulfilled and I'll be able to know exactly when it is that this is going to happen? Mungu alimuitisha kitu alikuwa anaita my baby. God asked him for something that he used to call mtoto wangu. Mercedes Benz anaita bebe yangu my baby. A Mercedes Benz. Kwa anaita mtoto wangu. Mungu akasema nipe bebe. God said, give me baby. Pastor alisema, no, mpaka hakujua ni no gapi. Alisikia kitu mdomo kusema, no, 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 no. Haka muambia, confirm. If it is you, confirm, confirm. Mchugaji haka sema, pana mingi paka hata hakujua ni ngapi. Haka sema, kama ni wea mungu. Rudia tena. Confirm. Thibitisha. 
Ndiyo nilikuwa namwambia. I told him. Give away your baby. Peana huyo baby wako. Eh, mefika time. It is time. Hata kabla hajaipeana maana initially well, of course aliipeana. Even before he gave it but eventually he gave it. Umewahi kupeana kitu alafu unakifuata fuata kama kinatumiwa vizuri. Have you ever given out something and you follow up to find out whether it is being put in Aniambia yule, yule pastor alichukua hiyo Mercedes. Hata nimeona kwa kwa petrol station kana uso wa mafuta imealipika. Nikamwambia wewe sadaka ukishaitoa imeshomeka usifuate. Hakuna. He told me Washa iweko hata mafuta ya taa ni yako. <laughs> I told he told me that I followed that car and I realized that this person is fueling in a very fake petrol station and I told him leave it alone when you give an offering it has already been burnt it is no longer yours even if it is fueled uh, using kerosene it is none of your business But I was fueled Uliza jirani umewahi kufuata offering ileenda wapi Ask your neighbor have you ever followed up to find out where your offering went Temutumishi tangu yoka ninataka tu nieleze kama Sande watu walitoa vizuri kwa sababu ulitoa million unafuata fuata kujua kama ilifika ilifika you say servant of yeah. god and you want to know if on sunday people really gave because i gave 1 million i'm not sure if it really got to reach where i wanted it to get why, why would god ask for these things that i see there on the script why kwa nini asimwambie utapata mtoto don wale ni next year akusema kitu why didn't he tell him you're going to get a child it is next year don't worry god never said anything wacha ni mwambie kitu kingine kimoja let me tell you one more thing sara dio ashike mimba for sara to conceive mungu alikuja kudeal na yeye god came to deal with her akakuja kwa sara she came to sara sara hakuna sadaka alitoa sara never gave any offer hata mtoto ni ibrahim alitoa hakuwabia sara Even for the sacrifice of the child it is Abraham that did it without telling Sarah. Bwana alikuja kwa nyumba ya Ibrahim. God came to the house of Abraham. Sara akaambiwa hivi na Ibrahim. And Abraham told this to Sarah. Tengeneza mikate chapati. Prepare bread. Na mimi nitengeneze dama. And I'm going to prepare a haifa. Ibu ageni wakule. So that these visitors can eat. Sara akatengeneza chapati haraka. Sarah prepared the bread in a hurry. Wakati wageni walikula chapati. When they ate their bread. Wakamwambia mwambie next time at this time. They told next her, year at this time. Ujao, wakati kama huu. Sara will be having a baby. Sara atakuwa na mtoto. Paka Sara akacheka akawaambia si uwaambie mambo ya wanawake nilimaliza. To the extent that Sara laughed and said tell them that I cleared everything to do with women. Kwa hivyo mtoto akaitwa kisheko Isaac. So the child was called laughter. Isaka. Isaac ni kusheka. Isaac is laughter. Na ni vizuri kuchunguza kama una behave kama jina lako. And it is good to, for you to investigate if you are behaving like your name. Shaitani anaweza kukufuata kwa sababu ya jina lako maana unaitanishwa na mnyama. The devil can follow you because of your name because you are called after an animal. Brother wanyama uko hapa? Animals are you here? Brother wanyama are you here? Daktari nyamo ako around. Is Dr. Nyamo around? Wangombe. Wangombe. Brother Murudi iko wapi? Na hii jina yako inamaanisha nini kienyeji? What does it stand for according to your traditions? Inaweza kuwa ndio inakusumbua. Is it possible that it is the one responsible for all your Kwa sababu kabla Ibrahim apewe mtoto Mungu alimwambia kuja nimekubadilishia wakati alitoa hizo sadaka aliambiwa hautaitwa Abraham tena utaitwa Ibrahim. Because before Abraham was given a child God called him and changed his name you no longer be Abraham you will be called Abraham. Na Sara akabadilishiwa jina. And Sarah's name was changed. Kwa sababu Sara alikuwa anauliswa na wase na ako na mse. She was being approached by men and she's already married. Kuna wadada hapa unauliswa na umeuliswa tayari na uko kwako. There are certain ladies here that men are approaching wewe. you wewe. and you already in wewe. your own house. Namba yako ya simu ni ngapi? Give me your phone number. Namwambia huo ni my husband hapa. Wewe washa utole namba ya simu ni ngapi 07? Do not be childish. Hey. Give me that number 07. Hiyo ndio maisha ya Sara. That was the life that Sarah had. Na ni jina lake lilifanya hiyo. And the problem was with the name. Akabadilishwa kutoka Sarai akaitwa Sara. So it was changed from Sarai to Sarah. Sarai ni princess, Sarah ni mama ya wa, watu. Sarai was a princess but Sarah is mother of many. Na sasa aka akazaa mtoto. And after that she was able to bear a child. Sasa na nyenye mmekuja hapa asubuhi ya leo. And now for you that have come here this morning. Wakati wa kutoa ngombe umefika time to give the cow has come
Na usiexpect afurahi. Hakuna mtu anaweza kufurahi akitoa ngombe. Mwambie the time to give a cow has come. Mwambie wakati wa kutoa ngombe umefika. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ngombe inaweza kuwa account yako yote ufagie, ulete hapa mwambie Mungu umesema mambo mengi sana juu yangu. Nataka kujua ni lini. Giving a cow may be you to go may call, uh, have you you may be forced to go and clear your account and bring everything and tell God you have spoken so many things about me I want to know exactly when they're going to, to happen if, uh, neno mwisho, Before I read the last scripture kuakubusha mambo ya Suleiman I want to remind you something about Solomon <laughs> Suleiman Solomon Aliingia kwa ufalme akalia sana. Got into kingship and really cried. Akasema Mungu sijui vile nitafanya. And he told God I don't know what to do. Biblia inasema akatoa ngombe 1000 kwa madhabahu. And the Bible says he gave a thousand cattle on the altar. Zikashomwa zote. And they were all burnt up. A thousand burnt offering. Sadaka ya kuteketeza 1000. Ngombe 1000 ni pesa ngapi ya Kenya? How much? What is the value of a thousand cows? Ngombe moja ni pesa ngapi? How much is one cow in Kenyan shillings? Sini 5000 hivi. Hiyo ngombe kubwa. The big cow. Haya times 1000. Multiply by 1000. Ni ngapi? How much is that? 50 million. Ilioni 50. Imagine ndio uweze kufikia sadaka ya, ya kwanza ya Solomon. Wacha hizo zingine zimeandikwa kwa Bible. Eh tangu uokoke umefikisha nusu ya sadaka ya Solomon try and figure it out for you to be able to be to get to the level that uh, Solomon offered the first offering since you are born again to date have you been able even to get to half of what he gave on that day nilienda Nigeria nikaambiwa na watu watatu i went to nigeria and i was told by three people i have now attained Solomon's offering sasa nimefikia kiwango cha sadaka ya Suleman tukakaa chini kuhesabu hesabu and we sat down to count to tukakuta count. amebakisha tu naira elfu moja afikisha sadaka ya Solomon and we realize it was less a thousand naira to get to what Solomon gave sasa wewe now when we talk about you bwana yesu asifiwe amen yako inakibisana na ya nani whose is your offering compared to yule mama eh yule mama alitoa senti bili the lady that gave two cents Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh-huh. Angalia hiyo sadaka alipopeana sadaka 1000 Mungu alifanya nini jioni? Look at that kind of offering when he gave that burnt offering. What did God do in the evening? The Bible says God came to the bed of Solomon in the night. Biblia inasema Mungu akashuka katika kitanda cha Sulemani usiku. Akamwambia Suleiman. And told Solomon. Oba chochote unataka. Ask whatever you wish. Nitakupatia. I'll give you. Na kuna washiri akisema hivyo and there are certain uh, believers that i heard say that nikaona wameshikana mikono nikamwambia tunaombea nini leo they, hold, they held hands and they asked them what are we praying for kiongozi akaniambia we are praying the that the me. way god appeared to solomon in the night and told him to ask whatever he will that he also appears to us this night kiongozi akaniambia ask us what we want Kiongozi akaniambia tunataka tuombe kama vile Sulemani aliomba alafu Mungu atutokee kama alivyomtokezea katika usiku atuulize ni nini tunataka Nikaambia hiyo ni kama kuambia mtu hivi I told them that is like telling somebody this Uongeze 2 kuongeza 2 na upate 10 You will get 10 Huyo mtu atashida hapo anajaribu kusema tu he Hey. Yote, that person will be standing there trying to add two plus two. Watu wa Mungu wanajua kuomba lakini formula ya kulete Mungu shini atekeleze maneno yake hawajui. God's people know how to pray but the formula to bring God down to do and work out his works they don't know how to do it. Niliwaambia hivi. I told them this. Wacha nani mikono, wacha ni kushikana mikono. Stop holding hands. Tukae shini kwanza tuhesabu sadaka zile mmetoa. Let us first of all sit down Bele and count the offerings you've given. Wacheni kuchukua. Stop playing with God. Hesabu 